Yo, what up? Shake the City Podcast, we back. Gang. This episode, I got my boy Luca Beats with me. <laughs> my guy. Good, bro. Now, if you've been paying attention to the New York music scene, then you definitely know my boy. He's been doing everything from Busy Banks, Leaky G Bando, Dusty Lil Kane. He got some crazy unreleased coming with some big artists. I don't even want to say that yet, but if you yeah. tune into his Instagram, then you know. You know I mean? So, yeah, man. Listen. You know, before we start getting into like how the music scene is right now in New York, the first thing I like to talk about in this podcast is like, yo, like how you got into music and like how you started producing this shit. So, yo, what what was like your first time like really producing? Like, what what got you into this shit? I started playing the drums since like fifth grade Dope. in school and shit. So, I had a drum teacher at the time. I don't anymore because I kind of did it like more towards the producing side of things. But he gave me Ableton. He would like he introduced me to Ableton, so that was the first uh, software wow. I got into, and I was fucking around with that. Switched to FL because I started watching YouTube videos. All of them were on FL. Yeah, feel me? So, nah, when, that's fire. Yeah, right. So you was on Ableton? I didn't even know that. I was on Ableton for like I'd say like eight months. Oh, that's what's up. Eight months. All yeah, right. but I wasn't like doing anything crazy at the time. It was just like. Some like loop, Looper Man. I was on Looper Man. <laughs> remember Looper Man? Yo, shout out to Looper Man. Yeah. Nah, let me stop. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, nah, that's yeah. fire. So you was like kind of experiment with it early. And then like, how long did it take for you to like really get like, you know, start like seeing like real progress off this shit? Like connecting to artists like, and shit. Ever since FL, I'd be like, like two years since I started really. Damn. I was, yeah, it took me like a minute. Cause I had to learn the whole like making beats thing, like yeah, yeah. And then I kind of took me like two years. I started. I got my first smooth valve placement. That's hard. That was your first placement yeah, ever. Literally first placement ever. That's what's up. Shout um, out to smooth valve. Shout out to smooth <laughs> And then ever since then, I was like, damn, like I'm gonna keep going. Da, kept going. I'm here. At, bro, it's been crazy. Like just watching, like now. bro, you catching like something every other week at this point. Me, yeah. That's fine. There was a time. There was a time. There's like a three month period where I was just every day. Damn, okay. bro. Nah, that's fire. Yeah. So, so one interesting thing is like during your whole period of like coming up and shit, like you never really took the YouTube route, did you? Nah, I mean I did, but it was like, the way I thought it is like people posting on YouTube, everyone's gonna use YouTube to MP3 convert. Yeah. I've seen it in sessions. Like we all kind of acknowledge that, that happens. So it's like, why even post on YouTube when people are just gonna steal your beat one? Two, like, like people, like, I don't know. It's just YouTube beats aren't it, in I my opinion. Like, listen, it's just I feel you. Over, like, saturated. Just like, I, I want my beats to be exclusive, personally. So it's like, yeah. I don't want anyone. I don't want anyone to just look up da and just find my beat. You know. I respect it, bro. Mm -hmm. For real. Yeah. There's a lot of people that feel that way. Yeah. But yeah, man. So. I mean, it's been an interesting journey, but you basically made it to this point where, like, right now, it's like you, you pretty much work with, like, damn near everybody in New York, you know what I mean? Pretty much. So, like, being where you at right now, how you feel about, like, where the scene is at, like, musically? Musically. Like, do you feel um, like, like, because it's kind of like, like, sample drills, like, running shit right now, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And yes, yes. if you go on, like, what New York City sounds like and you, like, listen to the latest releases, it's like everything sounds the same, basically. All right, so, well, I think you said musically, right? Yeah. So, I came up, I went to a performing arts high school. Da, 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 I came up with mad musical people. And what's in this like music going on right now, the sample drill, Bronx drill, uh, I respect it. It's great. Facts. You feel me? It's, I, I like the music. I have songs with many of the artists that are in, on, like doing, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. feel me? Like yep. doing the charts. Yep. I feel like music, musically wise, like it's like, not, not really talent like I feel like if they're talented but it's like it's, it's not real music where it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's it's like live instruments that people that actually know music theory that actually can like you feel me that are actually musicians but no it's shit. like like there's people going like gah gah boom like feel me just like that's what I was about to get at I was about to be like cause look at the end of the day right now it's like anybody can get on a beat you say one op name or something and mm -hmm. then you just say like Kra -kra, you know what i mean yeah, like throw the little like, ad in there and you basically are a real rapper all the songs sound exactly the same bro. right every single song is the same thing sample drill just like it's either you have like a song already you just put like four drums on it feel me Facts. you have the whole song like yeah people be sampling like michael jackson or some shit. i'm not name dropping anyone like 
filming this goes to no one, but I'm saying I'm viewing sample drill as the whole genre. It's like these sample sampling is cool. You feel me? Well, no problem with sampling, but it's like there's a certain extent when you take whole songs, of right, like and just throw like one little thing on it. Top it's like, like yeah. five songs, like that oh. already have the whole song there, and then what's, what's real? And out of key of the weights, like that's a whole other topic. Yeah, it's facts. Like, that's People, feel me? Yep. And to be real, people be picking wax samples too. Bro, it's just bad. People be picking wax samples. But it's bad. It is bad. It is bad. But shit, I mean, do you feel like there's any artists out here right now that's like, that you that when you see them, you're like, okay, this person's doing something a little different. Like, I kind of like what they're doing. A little different. I'm going to say Leaky G Band though. Okay. Obviously, he, yeah. like, no one sounds like him. Let's be real. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't sound like a single artist in New York. He's been doing it. Da, 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 show me. Shout out Leaky. Shout out Leaky. Um, who else? Because you said different, like, that sounds like no one else, right? I would say so, yeah. Like, or even whether it's, like, voice-wise or whether it's, like, production-wise or even, like, the shit they talk about. Like, I'll give you one of mine. Like, and you you, you posted this person earlier, Paris Bryant. Like, Paris, oh, I, I fuck, fuck with, with Paris, Paris Bryant. Bryant. Shout out Paris. Yeah, shout out Paris, man. Because, um, like, he, he, he's not following what everybody else is no, doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, he has he got his own it. kind of sound. Exactly, exactly. I fuck with Paris Bryant. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, shout out Paris. Hmm. Who else is really like killing it out here right now? I feel like who has his own sound, obviously. You you heard of um? There's like this girl. There's like it's two girls and they're rapping on drill beats, but they're kind of fire. I, girl code, I think. Girl you you code, heard of them? I have not heard of them. I have heard of them, and like they rap on drill beats. They are. It is drill, but I like how they do it. Like okay. they're they're like from what I heard, it was like lyrical. It was kind of fire. Okay. But yeah, not, okay, they was body and shit. It was body and shit. That's crazy. But yeah, man. Fucking, how do you feel like right now? Because so many people is doing like this drill shit. Like, yeah. do you feel like it's gotten to a point where it's like just easy for people to do? So it's just that's why it's so flooded right now. Definitely, like, and I think the the what I think is the Bronx drill made it easier for people to do it. Facts. Because I feel like you already have the sample there. There's not much really else needed because the sample kind of does the, its thing. You feel me? Like, I feel like anyone could really. Pick up a laptop, put drill drums on it. Real shit. Sample. Film. So something else, something a lot of people might not even know is that you be doing a lot of stuff outside of drill too. Like, I've heard some of your like trap beats, boom bap beats, like all that shit. Like Afro, bro, Afro beats. Yo, mm-hmm. our Afro beats is getting kind of fire right mm-hmm. now. I'm not gonna like, lie. Come on. Yo, but nah, man. Like, uh, so you you pretty much you always looking for stuff outside of that too, right? Like, Definitely. you know, I'm not even focused on drill right now. Wow. <laughs> I'm on a whole other wave. Like, I'm not even doing drill anymore. This drill shit. Damn. Not it. It's a sample wave. Just feel me? Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Although you did, you have gotten a lot of artists that I was kind of, like, even, like, when Sofago jumped on a drill joint, I was like, yo, that's fire. Like, who else really did that? You know what I'm saying? No one else did that. Like, no one (laughs) got young bands and Sofago on the drill. Yeah, that's fire. That's fire. Facts. I mean, that's better than all the sample shit. Like, let's be real. That's a whole other wave. Yeah. And... This is what 808 Mello's been saying. Me and Mello been trying to do this, like, whole, like, new... Like, he's been trying to get, like, non-drill artists on. Drill shit. Drill shit. I mean, like, that's smart. That's that's a new wave, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. Like, Most yeah. definitely. Yeah. Well, shit, man. I mean, I would say from this point on, like, what do you have anything you're focused on for this year? You know what I mean? This year. Like, you, you, you got a couple... You got a couple loaded up in the chamber right now. I'm yep, not going to name drop. Not, I'm not yeah, going to name drop, yeah, but you yeah. got some shit loaded up. Um, loaded up. The shit could drop this year. Duh. Still working. Yep. More placements. I feel that. More money. More placements, more money. That's what I'm more talking More music. About. More Hell talent. Yeah. More people that we meet. You feel me? Like, well, shit. Yo, to everybody watching, yeah. I'm just letting y'all know this <laughs> will not be Luca's last time on this podcast. Definitely y'all, not. Y'all going to see my boy up here. My boy is crazy, yeah. bro. Like, we be talking. We be chopping it up in the studio on some, like, we'll real shit. We'll be back. Shit, we'll, so we'll, we'll definitely be back. We're going <laughs> to <we're gonna laughs> give y'all what y'all want. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so, we'll be back. yo, appreciate you just stopping by and being on here, man. Sharing your, always sharing right. your energy. My guy. A pleasure. My boy, for real. Shake the city. We yeah. out. Bow.